All right, here we go. Episode 8 of our Descent Legends in the Dark series. We're going to be painting the white. I think that's how you say it. W-I-G-H-T. Sounds good. It's going to be real simple. This isn't crazy. This is going to be pretty easy. Um, very minimal highlights, as you can tell while this thing is spinning. I want to say thank you to the YouTube members who help support this channel. I can't thank you enough. Um, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for uh, your membership. If this is your first time with the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that bell button. Come on. We're doing the rest of the descent. I have Hero Quest coming to me and a slew of other Kickstarters. Without further ado, let's go, though. Now, if you've been watching this series, you know that these miniatures are fantastic. There's not a lot of mold lines. There's not a whole lot of gaps. Maybe I just got lucky on my set. I don't know, because some people have told me that their gaps are terrible. So, yeah, but I didn't have much problem with these. After I scraped off a couple mold lines, I'm going to take some of that black primer. If you don't have black primer or an airbrush, just use black spray paint. Hit that whole thing with black and then do some white from above. I did this on a bunch of miniatures. Obviously, if you've been watching the last couple episodes, you've seen this video footage before. But that's what we did to make that nice little zenithal highline to start, because that is the key to this miniature. First thing we're going to do is we're going to hit up the base. We're going to be doing that first, as we've been doing with everything else. And we're going to take some wild wood and put on that dirt portion of the base. Now, there's going to be a ruined stone that's in the back. Just be a little careful. We're going to hit that up here in a second. But um, just be cognizant. It's a little hard to see. Next, take that black Templar, another contrast paint from Citadel, which is amazing. And we're going to paint that ruined stone on the back. Next, we're going to paint the leaves, and we're going to do a series of different colors. The first one we're going to go with is Waz Daka Red. Now, there's no right or wrong way to do this. Do with whatever you want. If you want to do all the same color, do the same color. I'm just making it look a little folly, because it is fall. It's October. Um, next, we're going to use a little Death World Forest on another set of a leaf. I did a couple here, a couple there. There was no rhyme or reason for it, just whatever I felt like. After that, we're going to take some of that Averlan Sunset and just put that on... And finally, for our last leaf, I'm going to use some rat skin flesh just to make a little orangey and fallish look. The first base color we're going to be doing is some Wrathbone, and we're going to put this on the face, the arms, and the right foot if you're, well, it's actually the left foot if you're looking at the miniature, but his right foot technically, whatever, and the back arm as well. Um, take your time while you're doing this. Obviously, you're going to have four miniatures to do, and it's going to take a little bit of time. I'm also painting in some portions of the legs, um, just a tiny little bit. It's almost insignificant because it's hard to tell even when it's painted fully, um, but I'm just adding this in for a little added skin, dead skin effect. For the inside of the mouth, um, I'm going to use some Volupus Pink. For the teeth, we're going to be using some of that Zandri dust. Now 
For the helmet, we're going to use a little Death Corpse Drab. If you don't have this color, you can use something similar. Even Death World Forest will work just fine. For the whites, lovely beard, we're going to be using some of that Ulthurin Gray, which is a very nice color. And it's going to give it that nice dead look after we wash it here in a little bit. For the back little cape thingy that's on our miniature, we're going to use some Black Templar. For our shoulder pads, we're going to use some wild wood, so just be a little bit careful not to get it on the beard or the arm. For the inside of our pant looking area and the chest that you're probably not going to be able to see or tell that you painted it we're going to use some snake bite leather and if you're asking why i'm going contrast heavy is because contrast paints make it look a little dull this miniature is a dead zombie looking thing we want it to look dull and dead plain and simple we don't want to go overboard with it we don't want to make it too highlighted just something very simple For the leg portion, um, where the arrows are sticking out on the left and right leg, we're going to be using a little skeleton cord. Now again, this is going to be a very minimal color. You're not going to see it a whole lot, but that's kind of what we're going for, that dark, mundane, undertone look, because the focal point of this miniature is going to be the eyes, face, and beard, and you'll see that towards the end. For the wraps on our two swords, we're going to be using some Basilicanum Gray. For the arrow shafts, we're going to be using a little Mornfame Brown, just your basic Citadel Brown. For the fletchings on the arrow, we're going to use some squig orange. And for our swords, we're going to use some basic lead belcher. To brighten up our eyes, we're going to use a little bit of white, and that's going to be the last base color we're going to use before highlighting, or sorry, before using our wash. Get a wash for highlight. No. For the first set of the wash, we're going to be using some Nolan Oil on our beard and our swords. For the helmet, we're going to be using some Athanian Camo Shade. And for the rest of the skin and miniature, we're going to be using some Agrax Earth Shade. Make sure when you're doing this, you get a nice dab of that into the eye sockets. We want that nice round color sticking out of the darkness in the sockets of the eyes.
With that dry, you can already see how dead and disgusting this thing looks, and we are gonna do very minimal highlights, with the first one being just brighten up those white eyes a little bit. That's gonna make it kind of look like a glow effect, and that's all we're looking for. Next, we're gonna take some more gas bone. We're gonna hit those teeth just a little bit and some on the knuckles and a little bit on the skin if you want some. Again, we're looking for that dead look. We don't wanna to do too much because it already looks, well, dead. And that's what we want. For the tips of the fletching, we're going to use some Fire Dragon Bright. That'll be the brightest color you see on this miniature besides the leaves. We want to keep it that way. For the sword, couldn't think what I was supposed to say there for a second. Wow. Um, use some of that Necron compound on a dry brush. We're going to use the swords. We don't want to overdo it. Again, very minimal. We're minimalist on this miniature. Minimalist miniature. Minimalist miniature. Minimalist miniature. I said it three times fast. And finally, your favorite part, painting the rim of the base. I'm using black, because death. Why not, you know? Look how easy that was. Crazy, right? Look how good you did. Nothing crazy, nothing obscene, nothing out of this world. Very easy. Hey, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Do whatever you want to help this channel. I appreciate every single thing that everybody does to help this channel. I can't thank you guys enough. So, uh, until next time, paint on.